let's see. Let's check this out. And there we are. Nice. Now everyone, this is Jicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is January 5th, 2023. And Jicho's got a little bit of a cold. Uh, so I'm going to be slow-mo today. Okay. And uh, today we're doing our math drop and tutoring session number 82 very nice very nice this is our first math session uh, for 2023 which is fantastic we had our first current events live stream yesterday uh, for the year 2023 uh, tomorrow we're gonna do Jalan Jalan Apaz how are you doing hola hello I hope you're having a good morning a good afternoon good evening Jonas, how are you doing? Awesome, awesome. Lots of love right back. Lots of love right back. <laughs> Tomorrow we're gonna do a uh, reading of what we're gonna do. We're gonna do reading of the continue our reading of the coup d'etat, the assassination of JFK uh, cards. Uh, and I set it up for tomorrow and Sunday, but I'm going to have to cancel tomorrow's because I'm not up to it right now. My eyes are puffy uh, and uh, I'm sneezing and stuff like this. So we'll wait up. Um, well, hopefully by Sunday, I'll be fine. So we'll continue the readings on Sunday, but I'll announce this again. Um, for those of you that are here right away, right on, right on. <laughs> I like my students to come early for math class. Every other stream, it's okay. You can come in and out for math right off the go. Oh my God, how are you doing? Cancel stream. I know tomorrow I won't be able to do it, man. I'm, this is, I think today is the peak of uh, whatever it is I picked up. Uh, so like I'm eating, uh, I got up this morning and I've, I've peeled myself uh, pickled garlic. <laughs> so, I had eggs, protein, uh, pickled garlic. I'm, I'm popping garlics. Uh, delicious, delicious garlic. Yeah, that's what we're eating today. Lots of garlic. This is like, going to be round one. And then we'll keep on going. All right. Jalan, I was about to start studying and I got a notification. Lego dude. <laughs> right on. If you can help you out, let us know, right? Hypno15, hello, good morning, how are you doing? Hello, hello, I hope you don't mind a student paying half attention at the back. <laughs> no, that's okay, I used to sit in the back of class too. <laughs> Actually, there were some classes that, did I ever sit in the front? I sat in the middle, in the back. Sometimes I sat in the front, I guess, but usually I would sit in the corner in the back somewhere, just chilling doing my own thing or paying attention right mike hayes how are you doing 19 first time chat salute salute i hope you're doing well this is tea with honey and uh, uh, lemon okay any math tips for people like me with autism that struggle with special ed as I said, oh dude for sure i got my specialty actually uh, it just ended up in this way um over the years, just teaching, teaching what happened basically with our current indoctrination centers. I don't call them education centers anymore. It's indoctrination centers, right? They've, what they've done is close the box tighter, 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 right? So anyone that doesn't fit inside their box, right? They say, oh, they're on a spectrum. Right, so they kick them out. They say, "Oh, you need special special education. You, your uh, learning differences. You're this. You're this. You're this. You're this." They don't consider the whole indoctrination system as the problem. They consider the students to be the problem. Right. So, basically, all of these students coming out. I used to function within sort of was I, I had a couple of teachers I bounced off with and stuff like this. But slowly, all the students that are being put outside the box, I would start dealing with. And what I found basically is any students that are outside this spectrum, and you call the, on the spectrum, right? And that's what the going terminology is in my part of the world right now. Oh, you're on a spectrum, whatever that means, right? So any students that are on the spectrum, uh, I've sort of become, uh, 
very specialized in that. I'm very good at teaching students that are on the spectrum, right? And this is what I found. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, most of my students that are on a spectrum, except for the ones that uh, have uh, uh, from alcohol fetal syndrome, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's a certain segment of uh, students that I've had where uh, they have, you know, unfortunately, um, uh, their mothers had were drinking when they were pregnant, so they have alcohol fetal syndrome and stuff like this. Outside of that, uh, most of my students that are on the spectrum, uh, they just want information fed to them fast enough uh, so it doesn't slow down their processing speed, right? So. Uh, for sure and let us know if uh, Mike if, if there's anything that you, you've had a hard time grasping uh, let me know what it is and maybe I can throw in a fill in a gap that'll make it go brrr, make it all fall together right oh my god that's okay I'm doing a full stock take tomorrow okay nice nice Friday <laughs> kebabs 2 plus 2 is 4 4 minus 1 that's 3 Quick math, that's very quick math. Jay Chicho and all, feeling better. Uh, feeling, uh, I'm eating garlic. <laughs> garlic is making me feel better. And protein, garlic and protein. Go ahead. And I'm gonna eat some bread too. Uh, my partner is gonna make some fresh sourdough bread, so nice. First time chat, Stark Bev Bevok Stark can't pronounce the last name or what it is nice mastery one month before my calculus exam nice nice calculus I can only do a little intro to okay I haven't learned uh, or relearned uh, reviewed all my calculus that I took uh, previously um, I can do a nice intro and usually calculus you just need the pre-calc really to appreciate what calculus is right kebabs i find it weird how i failed math at school but now that i've left school my math skills have improved tremendously just from everyday transactions and trading such are yeah yeah our education system and indoctrination centers are horrendous oh my god i was the same at school i need my information at super speed or i shut down yeah yeah that's many of my students like really uh maybe maybe five percent of my students need need multiple repetitions actually everyone needs repetition there's no no doubt about it you need to repeat the same concept again and again until it sticks right but only about five percent of my students that i've ever had really require the information to come to them at a very slow pace most of them require to be speedy gonzalez style right they got no time to waste right fast processing speed um my texas and basic uh, uh taxes and basic money is still challenge uh challenge uh budgeting is real math taxes and basic money is still challenge budgeting in is real math yeah yeah here's the thing with uh personal finance really uh our indoctrination centers are horrendous they don't teach that crap they like garbage garbage like for example let me give you little example of the type of question that one of my students was dealing with right and they had to go through personal finance uh, what's it called it's not called personal finance section it's called uh, financial independence some crap like this right one of the questions they had for them right was would you to in it was about investing would you buy a house in Beijing would you buy property in Beijing? Now they're asking this of a student, right? That's, you know, and this student is on the spectrum. Brilliant. Age-wise, he should be in grade nine. Math-wise, he's doing grade 12 math, right? And the question was, as an investment, would you buy a house in Beijing? The most low IQ question you could ask anybody, right? So the, the kid's like, well, I don't know. He's asking the right question. He goes, I, I don't know anything about Beijing. I, I, I don't want to own a house. 
uh, and and then we start talking about it. we're talking about okay is a housing is it a bubble is it this is it this is it this is it this so my reply and they only left one sentence <laughs> right this much space to answer the question so my reply to him trying to explain it to him and he agreed with this he's like i go well write a very tight paragraph explaining that it really depends what the market is doing all right that's the level of financial education that they have in our indoctrination centers pure garbage and you should have seen the other questions would you buy a car would you <laughs> some of the questions were like would you buy stock in this company what like what and you know when you're talking about stocks you have to look at charts right would you have bought stock in microsoft a year ago if you were following our personal finance stuff family was shorting microsoft a year ago when it was trading at 345 dollars 340 dollars right now it's trading at 220 dollars right so it ridiculous general stupid questions right very stupid questions oh my god uh stock taking is heavy basic math heavy basic math i've done it as well heavy basic math one little error man the things don't add up you got to go through inventory again or try to narrow it down right kebabs i found and i'm more a visual learner with math if i can see the numbers i'm dealing with i can uh tackle the problem but if i'm told to do a, a times b i struggle yeah yeah with many people they don't is they make it they make math very abstract abstract but in reality math is very hands-on really there's theoretical mathematics you can go down that path but in high school uh university even first two three years of university mathematics you're not really doing any theoretical mathematics you're doing hands-on mathematics all right give me a see um i thought stream was canceled so i started watching big bang theory nice switch tabs and found you on nice i'm gonna straight cancel the stream tomorrow um i think yesterday i was hoping it wasn't gonna i wasn't gonna feel as uh, as down as i do right now so tomorrow's stream we're gonna cancel but today mathematics man i can teach mathematics when i'm really really sick i might make a lot of mistakes but uh, we have to stick with the mathematics math is the core essence of what i'm doing so it's going to be rare if i ever cancel a math stream mickey time zone learning made no sense when i was in college <laughs> yeah it's hilarious time zones cheryl how were you doing i think at least parts of our um distinct randall subscribe subscribe how many months now tier one they subscribe for 41 months currently on a 40 month month street boop <laughs> Hong Kong brother something <laughs> rental drops in it cheers brother so Cheryl is like I think at least parts of our um, district program oops where to go district program are outliers uh, but the teachers we've worked uh, with have really made an effort to incorporate real-world skills into each topic more so than when I was in school oh that's good if they have they're trying here but they're it's top-down management and top-down is garbage man Cheryl you should see what they've done to the education system in British Columbia Canada it's literally pure garbage now I would not if I had kids I would not send them to indoctrination centers no way no how right and you know my work a few years ago I would say yeah I'll still do it now absolutely not uh Cheryl continues there's a definite gap in investing finance educational resources for the under 18 set yeah and the reason there's a gap in investing fi financial ed education in schools is because the grown-ups have no clue of what it means for investing in personal finance and uh all that stuff like adults people i know and older have zero concept okay not zero but minimal understanding of what it means to invest in something a personal finance right i'll give you an example i'll give you an example uh, when 
we had the turbulence uh, at the beginning of 2020 with the with what whatever we whatever we're going to call this because we're going to be by the way gang here let, let me give my little intro on this uh, because I gotta we're going to be loading this on sensor tube so I can't say certain words because they'll be censored uh, gang you can follow the work on patreon subscribe star substack for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon on substack gang thank you very much for the support really as well as the support that we're getting on twitch it is in large part because of these two supports that uh, three supports substack patreon uh, twitch and we have a handful of people that are on uh sensor to uh, membership and they've been supporting this work for a long time now on sensor to thank you gang uh for that support as well as the support that we're getting everywhere else and the mods thank you for being here okay gang uh i hope you 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 like the content i am on twitter back on twitter now i'm on gab's minds vk uh parlor um uh, a bit cloud and um I forget my mind is mush right now uh so you can follow the work there gang uh for live streams we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud uh as a podcast and we do have a gilded server that has specifically a math section on it right so uh you're definitely welcome uh to join us there elder god thank you very much for posting these things i'm seeing that stuff come up uh appreciate it okay uh with that intro gone let me kill this uh boing Boing, boing, boing. What was I talking about? Oh man, I think I forgot what I was about to say. Uh, what did Cheryl say? That definitely. Oh, uh, financial, financial, da, 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 financial stuff. Uh, nothing a gap in financial. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is what I was going to mention, right? So I was talking with a grown-up. Uh, apologies if I'm not. We were talking about a quadratic polynomial. <laughs> hilarious, Maggie. We could talk about that. I <laughs> love it. Uh, we'll get into that as soon as I give you this example of how little adults in the Western world or in my part of the world understand about investing in personal finance and why our education system is so horrendous when it comes to teaching kids, uh, anybody really, about investing in personal finance, right? So three years ago basically the markets took a tumble right for multiple reasons right the stock market um, the dow jones we're going to talk about the dow jones dow jones dropped here we'll do this um, i'm not going to put we're just going to put time here right in a matter of two weeks in a matter of two weeks right actually let's call it one month so let's say zero time to 30 days 30 days okay and let's go zero let's go dow jones at the time was around thirty-one thousand. i think i, I find or let's say thirty-two thousand, right so dow jones was at thirty-two thousand. in a matter of two weeks even less than that 10 days the dow jones dropped down to 32 18 000, right so just plummeted right plummeted so the dow jones lost almost 50 percent of its value right 16 would be 50 percent. so dow jones lost about 40 percent let's say drop so minus 40 percent drop in a matter of like two weeks right straight down nose dive right this is the dow dow is the top 30 stocks in wall street in the united states that are listed there Right? there's a whole bunch of them you can look it up uh, there's home depot and uh, visa and blah, blah 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 microsoft apple all this stuff right a lot of fang stocks right here is and i was having this conversation with a family member that has been in the markets for a long time right here's the same time frame time 30 days okay this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, we'll say Amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing 
Oh my god, spot mind is mush spider-man spy there don't forget the hyphen man number one right amazing spider-man number one in mid-grade 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 the reason i was looking at this is because when the markets went down i was looking at comic books to be able to buy them right because i was expecting comic books if they drop 40 percent, i was going to buy so right start dumping money into it right amazing spider-man mid-grade i forget what it was going for like 30 grand let's say around the same price all right let's say let's say it was 30 grand right amazing spider-man number one didn't drop 40 percent it came down to around twenty-five thousand. that's it <laughs> right came down to around Twenty-five thousand, whatever that is. That's five thousand drop, uh, five over thirty. One over six. What's one divided by six? I don't know. What's one divided by six? Uh, one, one divided by six. One over one is one divided by six. Equals. So it dropped like sixteen. Let's say twenty percent. Not even. It dropped like sixteen percent. Oh, okay, let's call it. I don't know, let's call it 15%. Okay, it dropped 15% in value, right? At the same time, the Dow Jones was dropping 40%. Nose diving, right? Meanwhile, if you extend this time, this time, right? If you extend this time into decades, decades, the better investment if you were about to invest in anything would have been collectibles instead of the markets right but they don't teach you this in schools they don't teach you this in schools the only thing they say investing is main places that they talk about for investing is real estate and stocks those are really the only two things they talk about when it comes to places you can invest your money that's what they're indoctrinating kids with right and as children grow up they become adults this is the only thing they know right invest in either the stock market or real estate right they they don't they don't know about collectibles until they get older they get a little wiser they look at what their finances are doing they look at how much things are selling for collectibles and stuff like this right not only that they don't even consider investing in your health investing in your community investing in your family as investment right that doesn't even hit the radar not in my part of the world right so when it comes to personal finance investing education in centralized indoctrination centers it's garbage 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 okay because it's designed to enslave people right and the adults that only believe this crap only believe in, in in are investing in their own enslavement right because when i had this conversation with a family member that has been in the stock market for a long time and for years now decades he's been telling me that investing in comic books is not an investment it's not a good place to invest even though he he I've shown them otherwise and I've shown other people otherwise right showing the value going up selling some comics look I bought this for a dollar dollar fifty I sold it for four hundred <laughs> right do you have a stock that does that it's not an investment why is it an investment collectibles are one of the greatest places you could have invested your money and there's cognitive dissonance with people who only understand this system of real estate right and they can't believe their lying eyes right they can't believe their lying eyes which is a serious problem in our society that went a little bit not specifically mathematics related but it is because it's about our, our education systems okay uh that's my take i'm not sure how it is where you are cheryl okay i just want to get that off my chest finish dude how are you doing sorry i went off a little bit i'm going to catch up with the chat 
kebabs. Rishi Sunak just made it compulsory that people have to study math until the age of 18 now. Thoughts? Um, I, personally, I think mathematics and English should be the only mandatory courses in school. I think physical education and stuff like that has a place, right? But um, I think once you learn mathematics and your, your uh, natural language, right, whatever that might be, English, French, Russian, Hindi, wh whatever it is, right, your natural language, once you know those two two things okay uh you can teach yourself anything including athletics including cooking including investing including anything right so in my personal opinion i'm okay but i'm a little biased i'm okay with math being mandatory um i think it has to be uh, no uh, cheryl uh i'm just seeing the chat pop up here i'm not all the way to the bottom of the chat i might think no science no i don't think science should be mandatory because natural languages and the language of mathematics are the two things we need to be able to communicate and understand information in our in our worlds right so if you have those two languages and mathematics is the language of science then you can learn science it should be an elective you should you should take it right maybe it should be mandatory up to grade eight or something like this but it it, it shouldn't be forced down their throat Right. Like, for example, for me, I had no desire to dissect frogs in biology and I was forced to dissect frogs. Right. It, it, I didn't like it. it. It it wasn't in me. Right. So I think the choice should be given to students as to what they want to study. Right. And at some point, kids are naturally uh, inclined to want to learn sciences. They ask questions. And that's what science is. Science has been developed i guess if you want to categorize it as a category uh that we have in education to answer questions right why does this happen like this why is this like this why is that why 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 are clouds like this why do cloud shapes change why is the weather like this why is this why 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 um right and economics uh, investing personal finance i think anybody that's interested in economics can learn economics knowing uh uh your natural language of math mathematics Cheryl I'd agree if if uh, authors editors were skilled at communicating to a broad audience I see science classes as being a way to help oh I missed it um, yeah and by the way that's not the only two things that need to change with our education system or whatever the textbooks are garbage the exercises are garbage the way the school system is structured is garbage you can't take students 30 adolescents, preteens, tweens, teenagers, and put them in a classroom, give them crappy desks that are bad for your posture, tell them to sit there for eight hours a day and listen, or six hours a day and listen. Who came up with this stupid system, right? So it's not just that math and English or your natural language should be mandatory and everything else should be an elective. It, there has to be a complete restructuring of education, right? And once you do that in in coordination with your natural language and mathematics uh, I think we would see a renaissance like we've never seen before uh, I think I think it would be absolutely magnificent <laughs> look at mathematics it's just super powerful. I gotta scroll down I catch up to the chat uh, where do you post the full streams I post the full streams on all the full streams go on um, BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey, these three channels, and not everything goes to SensorTube. Uh, the math stream is gonna go to SensorTube, this stream, but a lot of other stuff, the full streams do not go to SensorTube. Uh, but if you wanna follow the work, I would recommend BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. Uh, that's the best place. Uh, those platforms are the best ones uh, to be at. Slick Mac. Hi, Twitter, glad uh, to be catching your math streams again. Hope you're having a good start to the new year. Thank you very much, Slick Mick. Did you come here from Twitter? Did you see the notice on Twitter? I'm back on Twitter. Mickey, everyone learns math differently. Everyone learns math differently. Agreed with you, Mick. Mike. Uh, Slick Mick Chicho, laugh out loud. 
did not mean to say Twitter. You didn't mean to say Twitter. I'm like, Twitter? <laughs> this is math education. This is math education. Yeah. Math education uh, badge. First time chat, by the way. Uh, first time chat. Uh, Badgersman44. Welcome to our live stream. Talking about the education system is uh, is about math as well because mathematics is part of our education stuff or should be anyway Cheryl even outside of school it's tough to find decent web based info on books beyond piggy bank basics yeah yeah agreed agreed Chicho gang Magus Joe Chicho I saw an article here in the UK a couple of days ago about a school math question that 100% of the parents couldn't answer I had a go and managed to solve it in a few minutes I like to think um, just really smart but I think it re reality is just a sign of how dire math knowledge is in the West yeah yeah math education in the West is garbage pure and it's, and, and it's by design in my opinion to keep people so um, obedient obedient am I a professor no my 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 goatee says I am, but I'm not. Uh, I couldn't last long enough in uh, in, s in university to get uh, to, to get a PhD with them. Magus, we were talking about question. <laughs> yeah, and we could do anything. Oh wow! Oh wow! There's a lot of chat. Okay, gang, I'm gonna scroll down. Try to stay up with the chat. If there's anything directed towards me, please let me know. If I missed anything, please let me know. If you have a math question please let me know i'm just going to catch the stuff that says chicho on it uh hey man how are you doing doing good lark uh, lark bark stark you can't just call me stark the name i chose is in german and means he heavily cloud uh, heavily clouded equals st stark bewocked stark bewocked I had to choose a name for my account and my weather app was showing me this and I just took it out. Hilarious. Love me some mad large Mike says. Uh, I'm scrolling down, guy. I'm scrolling down. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I'm going to read the rest of Cheryl's comment. Uh, I see science classes as being a way to help process how to integrate language and math. Yeah, and, and by the way, the way they teach math is garbage as well, right? So mathematics should be math in real life so the way you teach the syntax of the language of mathematics should have real life applications in there unfortunately the real life applications are garbage are garbage the way they try to incorporate real life into mathematics so we have to think about a completely new system uh, of teaching uh, math and i'm not sure how english is taught to tell you the truth i hated the way they taught english when i was studying it uh so i actually had to relearn english myself in my 30s early 30s uh, i really had to sit down and teach myself proper uh english how to write ronnie how are you doing i hope you're doing well Ch -ch -ch. Da, 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 da. Cheryl but the guidance of a class teacher are are key to learning the process I don't mean they should be required to take all science but one earth and one life base um, it depends on the teacher if you're lucky enough to get a good teacher uh, or be in a good class you'll do great if if you're not you're gonna do horrendous and unfortunately uh, most of the good uh, teachers that I knew of 20 years ago they all dropped out they had nervous breakdowns or they quit they couldn't handle the system right and gang uh, haven't mentioned this uh, in this stream yet but we must we must we must free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or, or Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on CensorTube. Uh, Badger. Badger says the classrooms are too big. They should be smaller so kids can learn better. Agreed with you 100%. Maximum classrooms should be a maximum of 10. 10 kids. That's it. Okay. 
and that's pushing it lonely piggy how are you doing lonely piggy by the way my snacks for today pickled garlic pickled garlic i'm eating pickled garlic pickled garlic this one's got a little bit of thingy on it let's eat this one i'm fighting off a little a little bit of a flu i picked up see that's how you doing yochi shop i saw you on twitter i like your post thanks free speech is back on twitter to a certain degree so we came back to it Jelena pass I agree I agree like this book quote building a foundation in mathematics second edition gives me examples and then when I get to the exercises I get problems that I didn't learn and I'm like okay how the F do I do this yeah most textbooks math textbooks are garbage very bad very bad I'm scrolling down gang math should be fun not a chore I agree with you Badger reading points yeah baba yeah yeah baba yaga thank you for your work Chicho Chicho chats I really appreciate you educating everybody you are a true champion of the people keep on um, keeping on brother all my love is for thank you very much for the love <laughs> yeah but I appreciate it you gotta do what I gotta do and I, this is for selfish reasons I think if everybody was educated in the language of mathematics the world would be a better place uh, and I said this from the beginning um, and I want to live in a better world so I teach mathematics <laughs> it's as simple as that luck bark oh yes and happy new year buddy happy new year to you as well like bark and everybody joe chicho would you like to have a go at it uh sure give it to us that problem that you solved garlic is good jenna says about the following using logarithms and anti-logarithms what are anti-logarithms? Is that exponents? Round your answer to the nearest whole number. And the problem is 6 to the power of 3 over 7. So you do this. So let's do a little math. Six to the power, what is it? Six to the power of three over seven. So we just want to simplify this. So six to the power of three over seven. What does a power mean? It means it's it doesn't directly interact with the base. It does things to the base. And what does it do? It says take the base and multiply it by itself three times. Over seven. Now, can you simplify this to uh, a smaller fraction? No, because six is really two times three. 2 times 3 and 2 times 3 so this doesn't reduce anymore once you multiply this thing out and 6 times 6 is 36 36 times 6 6 3 um, 18 21 so it's just going to be 216 over 7 personally I would leave it at 216 over 7 I like fractions uh, I think it's 216 over 7 yeah it should be yeah. Have have you seen? I can't pronounce that name. Have re, refresh. Have refresh. Three seven six. Have you seen an Android phone that you can do like eleven minus fifty percent and you get five point five? But that doesn't seem like an accurate method of using symbols. Eleven minus five percent. What? How's that work? How strong is lonely pig? How strong is it? Like it's not, it's not. It doesn't burn. Uh, so it depends on the pickled garlic. These ones aren't. They don't burn. Uh, you know when you eat fresh garlic, it can burn. Uh, like it's hot. These aren't hot, but you, the garlic flavor is strong, and that's it's pickled in uh, vinegar. So the vinegar flavor is strong as well. Uh, 
Stark. I'm going to say Stark, brother. Uh, Lark and Stark. Lark says math classes are packed with too many students. Indeed, all classes are really. Stark. Oh, looks like Sir Torchy. In Iran, we put the garlic in vinegar and pickle them. Nice snack. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is... I bought these... Uh, uh, Stark. I bought these in... Uh, at an Iranian store they're best they're when they're brown like this they're um, they're pickled in vinegar and I think they add a little bit of sugar in there as well so these are Iranian pickled garlic very good and if you buy these you can keep these a while and these are fairly fresh well fresh within you know a few months you keep these for a while the garlic becomes mushy very soft you can squish it that's pure medicine ronnie that's because a lot of math geniuses can't teach and they assume all the complex parts are simple to a certain degree yeah but i don't think math geniuses need to teach the the requirement the quintessential requirement for teaching anything is love as krishnamurti would say you don't need math geniuses to teach high school mathematics okay or elementary school mathematics or even university level mathematics uh the first two three years anyway right i'm not a math genius right i don't even consider myself a mathematician i just know how to use mathematics the language of mathematics to do what I need to get done. And a lot of that is because I was self-taught, right? I got my bachelor's uh, in geophysics and a minor in mathematics, but I really didn't understand mathematics until I started teaching it. And what made me understand mathematics, why we did certain things, because my students would say, why do you do this? I go, well, because it's the way it's done. I didn't know why we did it. And I started looking up the whys. That was the love in me, trying to make sure the student understood how to do mathematics that allowed me to learn mathematics to a level that I was comfortable with teaching, right? So you don't need to be a math genius or genius in anything to teach a certain topic. You have to have love to teach it, right? For the subject preferably as well as the student, right? Because when you're asked a question and you don't know the answer, you can't dismiss that question, right? That means you're dismissing a student. That's shuts them off right away right you need to seek out the answer so you can answer that question and that's a love of learning because as soon as you try to seek out the answer for the question that you didn't have an answer for you're going down a path of self-educating yourself right so it makes you more powerful and that's what it did with me it made my mathematics more powerful so i'm not a math genius i'm just someone that gives a rat's ass badger how often do you uh come online you sound like the teacher i should have had in school badger tell you the truth when it comes to mathematics i think i'm the teacher that everyone should have had in school really and i'm i'm sorry after years of teaching this uh actually i'm not sorry after years of teaching mathematics i know that uh it it, it is it is what it is right it is what it is because I'm very good at it uh, uh, Joe and how often I come online I come online um, as often as I can right now I've had to take on a lot of students for this year uh, uh, because of reasons that some people here know because they followed our work on uh, on the other platform or other live streams uh, that I can't talk about because we're going to be loading this on sensor to we're going to be loading this video on sensor soup so i can't talk about why it is that i've taken on a lot of students this year uh but right now um live streaming at least once a week and when i have time i live stream a lot more okay like we had four set up for this week but i'm gonna be canceling one tomorrow joe chicho it's a geometry problem so i'll have to give you some instructions on what to draw oh the geometry problems um Joe, do you have a link that I could look it up? Or because we've tried doing some of these geometry problems when people are explaining and they end up drawing the wrong thing. 
if you do um, if you can send it to one of the mods either Cheryl or Elder God that are here right now uh, they can post the link Badger what best way to learn how to do percentages is based on estimation of the number uh, percentages think about it this way right if you want to convert between percentages fractions and and decimals right so for example let's talk about this do number okay fraction and percent okay so first thing think of these two dots on the percent symbol as two decimal places two spaces right that the decimal moves just keep that in mind think about this line right as the division symbol and think of percentages as a fraction that's over a hundred right so the two dots could be your two zeros in the bottom as well okay just keep that in mind as we do some of these right so let's assume we wanted to represent number one as a percentage right well one thing you could do is you can convert it to a fraction one as a fraction is one over one right percentage means divided by a hundred you're normalizing percentages and by the way the reason we do percentages is because we want to normalize things right we want to standardize things so we can do a direct comparison to something else right so for example if i if i said hey one seven two five divided by seven three four five versus uh two five six six over nine three four five right so which one's bigger which one's smaller right very difficult to do when you're giving fractions right you can convert them to decimals numbers and that way you know which one's bigger which one's smaller or you could talk about it as a percentage right so if this was marks right let's say you're in a school you wrote a test and you got let's say 35 out of 60 and someone else wrote a test and it's a friend of yours and they ended up getting 27 over 50 and then you want to find out which one of you did better right who got a higher percentage right it's very difficult to do with this so you convert it to a decimal and then kick it up to a percent and you'll know who got a higher percent right so it standardizes things it puts things over the same denominator that's what that means standardizing it right so what you would do is have this over 100 and have this over 100 right so let's do it this way here i'll punch in 35 here 35 divided by uh what did i say 60 60. this is pretty crappy mark right this ends up being 0 0.583 0 0.583 and this one is just um to put it 27 divided by 50 it's just multiplied by 2 takes it to 100 so multiply that by 2 so it gives you 54 which is again pretty crappy 54 right so who ended up getting a higher percent remember when I said consider this the two dots as two decimal places right so if you want to convert 0 0.583 to a percentage which is 35 over 60 you want to take it over a hundred right and jump from this so 100 over 100 this would be 100 percent okay percent i'll get back to that i jumped around a little bit so this one if you convert it to a percent think of this as two decimal places so all you do you take this and move it over two decimal places so, so that's 58.3 percent this one 27 over 50 two ways you can get to the percentage you can write this as over a hundred 
So you multiply this by 2, 50 by 2 to get to 100. We didn't do this with this one because it's hard. What are you going to multiply 60 by to take you to 100? It's a hard calculation, right? But with 50 is easy. Multiply by, by 2, so you multiply the top by 2. So this becomes 54. So that's 54%, right? Or you do it to a decimal first and then kick it up into a percent. And if you do 50, 20, I'm going to do this because my mind is a little mushy right now. So if you go 27 divided by 50, boink, you get 0 0.54, 0 0.54, and the two dots mean two decimal places, right? So you move it two decimal places, doink, doink, you get 54%. Right, and if you want to go from percent the other direction, you move the decimal place in the other way. Right, always keep in mind the percent number, the absolute percent number, has to be bigger than the decimal number. Right, so 54 percent, you move the decimal in the other direction. Okay, so if I had this, let's say you had 12 point, let's say 12 percent, right. You want to write this as a decimal, right? Well, the two dots mean two decimal places, but in this case, because you're going from percentage to a decimal, you move the decimal in this direction. So you go point, point. So this is 0 0.12. And if you want to convert it to a fraction, all you do is take whatever the number one number was as a percent, you go 12 over 100. I know it looks it's pretty messy right now but uh, I hope that makes sense okay I hope that makes sense uh, John so for example one of the problems I did was 21 over 18 okay hold on let's do this by the way if you want further info on this badger uh, post your comment and we'll get back to it Badger, I think I understand. I think I need a course to understand it better. Uh, possibly, but once you start doing a few of these, uh, Badger, uh, it'll make sense. So for example, here, Badger, while we're on this, here, what would this be? What would 12.5 uh, be as a percentage, right? So we'll skip over the decimal, so that's a number, and then do these ones. So tell me what that would be as a percentage, and Tell me what 1.3% would be as a number, okay? Think about these, post them while I read Jalen's uh, question, okay? Uh, so Jalen, Jalen says, uh, so for example, one of the problems I did was 21 over 18 and the anti-log of 21 is this and the anti-log of 18 is this and then I got that and since i have to round to the nearest whole number is one i don't understand what anti-log is I, I don't so you're saying 21 over 18 anti-log well let me see if i understand anti-log is the log of 21 one point something uh, 21 log yeah, so you're saying you took the log of that and the anti-log of 18? I don't think the log of 18 is negative this. Oops. But yeah, why do, you, why do you say it's negative? The log of 18, so the log, so basically you took the log of 21 and the log of 18? That's what you're doing? You're getting 1.3222 over now the log of 18 is not negative 1.255 it's 1.25527 we mix it a three right and then when you do this division you shouldn't get 0 0.0 so i'm not sure why you're getting 0 0.0669 one point oops three Point three oh, three two two divided by one 
0.25, let's see, whatever. I get one point this. So for this, you get one point zero five three. So I'm not sure where you're getting that number from, uh, Jalen. So maybe I don't understand what anti log is. Lark bark. You know what I've noticed about math instructors, teachers, and professors? They're not the best writers, ironically, or at least to my knowledge. No, they're not. If they're pure mathematics, they're some of the most horrendous writers there are in general. Joe Chicho, okay, I'll try and find it. The shame, uh, the shape is all right at right angles, so it's fairly simple. Oh, okay, then yeah, let us know if it's all right angles. <laughs> John, Roger, I think I understand that, 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 that anti log as an exponential is that what it is like mm, yeah i'm not sure we're not writing it properly I have to use a calculator sorry yes yes i apologize but i have to subtract not divide oh okay and when you multiply you have to add oh you're doing this okay I've never heard of anti-log. Yeah, I've never heard of anti-log either. So maybe you're doing this. You're doing this. Log of 21 over 18. Is that what it is? And then you're doing division for logs is log 21 minus log 18. And that's where you're getting your number from. Yeah. If that's the case, then that's what it is. This is one of the rules of logarithms, right? It's like exponentials, right? So for example, here, think about it this way. Um, let's go five to the power of seven divided five to the power of three, right? So when you have exponentials, if you're doing division, all you do, you subtract the exponents. So this is really five, to the power of seven minus three, as long as the base is the same. So it's five to the power of four. So it's sort of a log rule, this log rule sort of is extrapolated from the exponent rules, right? Start by drawing a horizontal line from left to right. Okay, does this make sense, Jalen? That's all you're doing. You're, 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 you're using the log rules of division so if you got log of something divided it's the same thing as a log log of each one individually subtracted right and that's the same way as it would be for this uh, multiplication so log of 21 times 18 well multiplication becomes addition so this would be log of 21 plus log of 18 okay badger i think this math is above my pay grade Lo logs for sure logs is grade 12 badger but you should be able to do these did you do these ones yet badger did you do these ones do these ones while i draw uh joe's six-sided triangle let's check it out so start by drawing a horizontal line from left to right okay here we go Here's our horizontal line. And then what do we do? Uh, Jalen, it's because I'm doing electrical BS. So it's showing me how to get ready to divide amps, oh, and ohms, and whatnot, I guess. I guess so, yeah. I haven't done the electrical stuff for a long time. So, uh, yeah, I can go through it again, Badger. Take a look. If we want to convert a number to a decimal, Okay, uh, to a percent, right? So a number I'm saying is also a decimal, right? If you want to convert a straight up number to a percent, you take this decimal and move it over to, right? So this becomes one, two, and then a five, and then there's no nothing here, so you add a zero. So it's this percent, okay? If you're going from a percent to a number, right? you move the decimal in the other direction. So you take this and you go one, two, right? You put a decimal and there's a zero there. So 0 0.013. So 0 0.013 is a percentage 
is 1.3%. Okay. Let me give you a couple more. Here, do these ones. Um, 0 0.35 converted to a percent. And uh, let's go 135 converted to a decimal. Sorry, I meant to say right to left. So from the point on the left, draw a line upward the same length. Okay, so do I still keep this line, Joe? <laughs> Remember, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling 100%, so my mind is a little mush. Sorry, I meant to say right to left. So from the point on the left, draw a line upward the same length all oh, the same length okay so i'm gonna have to erase this so let's do this so we're doing a right angle triangle like this i guess here that's the same length so that's a right angle triangle or right angle <laughs> baby nice that's the joke i don't understand it either brother yeah i was going to draw it clockwise okay is this okay so far Joe is it uh, are we doing okay with this this is the problem with geometry class it's so difficult to draw <laughs> oh the god pops in for this <laughs> oh god you got the first one wrong <laughs> You gotta move it. Hold on, Badger. Do you have a Do you have a reply to this? Elder God, you only got fifty percent on this on this quiz. Okay, now draw a line to the right, which is a third of the first. Now draw top and bottom. No, check this out. Two decimal places you want to move it. So this one, you move one two. So this is 35%. And this one, there is no decimal place. So when there is no decimal place, you have the decimal place here. So you move it to this way. So it's 1.35. Okay. Is it 2535? Yeah. Yeah. Baby nice. Yeah, baby nice got it right. So keep in mind these two dots for the decimal symbol they represent two decimal places. If you're going from a number to a percent, you move this way. If you're going from a percent to a number, you move the other way. Okay. Yeah. Start, hey, Chicho, do you have a playlist on functions and uh, different, not on differential equations, but I have a ton of stuff on uh, functions. Uh, quadratics starting with quadratics here let me grab you that hold on go to go to go to I'm gonna send you to my blog spot because I have a playlist there Boing. okay if you go to my home page chicho.com is chicho.blogspot.com and if you go math in the top things and you go to the language of mathematics Doink. okay here i'm gonna link you up here and let me find you let me link you up here this so go to this page this is the sort of the archive and it's only the stuff i did with the language of mathematics okay it's not the math and real life stuff as well but if you go to series three summer series one black hole the equal sign no series three uh solving equations it depends if you want to start solving equations how not to solve an equation um if you go to do, 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 do. if you go to uh, series three a and then start off with uh, 
forget solving equations go to section five just scroll down and it goes into solving quadratic equations factoring techniques introduction to polynomial functions okay so basically you want to go to series 3b section 5 that sort of gives you an intro to quadratics you're doing factoring stuff like this and then when you go to series 3b then we're getting into polynomial functions and stuff like this uh, factoring uh, and then from there you know we did synthetic division factoring large polynomials remainder theorem and it just continues and unfortunately i haven't categorized uh the stuff in sections for what we did in asmr math okay front row guy joe oh yeah where we go third the length of the first line okay so that's where it was so okay now draw a line to the right which is a third of the first line so from here just go third of the way so if we go this 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 we go here okay and then the first line okay from the top of the line you've just drawn draw a line to the right which is third the length of the horizontal line mm. okay so this is what we did Joe <laughs> sorry i'm distracted with shift rotation and i'm sticking with that hilarious <laughs> can you turn a math dummy into a math genius uh I, I don't think anybody's a math dummy it's just you haven't yeah you just haven't been able to put the pieces together yet so i guess the question badger you're asking me is uh can someone that doesn't know the language of mathematics become good at the language of mathematics 100 percent 100 percent yeah people people that don't know math like i didn't know math when i was growing up and i learned math but it takes time it takes time for some more than others that's one thing i can honestly tell you uh everybody doesn't learn at the same pace right i have some students that learn much faster than the other students and that's just for math and then those same students that learn mathematics faster than other students might be really slow at learning something else compared to the other students so everybody has their strength and their weaknesses right but if you want to learn math you can definitely learn math it just takes time and effort right dedication joe chicho yes now draw a vertical line downwards the same length okay there we go <laughs> this is like a nice we're doing hangman here <laughs> is this a hangman <laughs> are you gonna give us like things here do you have an a no put ahead elegant to be fair the last time i was in class george bush senior was president hilarious <laughs> George Bush Sr. We have George Bush Sr. This is George Bush Sr. right here. Oh, hold on. I got it here. This is George Bush Sr. right here. George Bush Sr. This is George Bush Sr. <laughs> Hilarious. Joe, now draw a line to the right so it ends directly above the first point. Okay, so we're going here okay cool <laughs> do we close it now what do we do now joe now i'm curious to see where we where we end up where do we end up and now we we'll draw a line to close the shape sure now what do we do i like this this is like what do you call it uh putting dots together and figuring out what the shape is going to be garlic i'm 
medicine. Very good. Eat the garlic. <laughs> Looks like much flat. Nice. <laughs> Here's Elder God. Doing a thousand push ups. <laughs> My stick figures. Okay, so Joel's come back with instructions. Okay, so the first line we're, we're, we drew has a length of 2x plus 6. Okay, so this is 2x plus 6. The second line is x plus 11. Uh, the third line is x plus 1. And the fourth has the length four. That? <laughs> Look, I was laughing, drinking one thousand pints. More like yes, the rental says. <laughs> Hilarious. J dry January, all the Nice. What about this? Oh, hold on. Fourth line. Oh no, no, that's not four. This is four. My bad. This is four. Boink. So we can figure out what this is and we can figure out what this is, right? The small vertical line has the value for the one after is X plus one. This one's X plus one. That one can't be X plus one. That should be two times X plus one because it's, this was a third of the way through. So this would be two of these guys. Don't, don't, is that true? It's right now. Okay, good, good, good. Area math, area math. <laughs> what's, what's, what's the size of Elder God's flat? <laughs> Badger, can algebra, geometry, decimals, and fractions made into one math equation? Um, sure, algebra is just the rules of moving around an equal sign. That's all algebra is, really. <clears throat> or expand that to uh, more... Uh, operations it's just knowing what to do when you see a symbol geometry is shapes right and decimals is just part of uh, it's just a single part of numbers right so it's not really uh, anything you, sh you can concer concern yourself well same with fractions that's just numbers right so your question is really because Decimals and fractions are just numbers. And mathematics uses numbers. So can algebra and geometry uh, be made into one question? Yeah, we're doing it right now. This is going to be requiring an algebra for us to do algebra to figure something out. Right? They're all used, Ronnie says. Yeah. Uh, Ronnie says geometry uses algebra, and algebra can have decimals and fractions uh, in one. Uh, equation yeah now uh, can we express the universe in one single equation indeed Randall, it's much harder when you operate upon yeah just, oh god i don't envy you and gang while we wait for the rest of the question to come through joel uh free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on censored. Elder God, everything's zero. I was uh, I was under the impression everything's two. If you don't know the answer, the answer is two. Yin and yang, male and female, maybe in another world, eh? Chicho, uh, so Ronnie Chicho, I think the universe is in infinitely small and large at the same time. For example, I think there are things smaller than atoms and things smaller than that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We already know that, Ronnie, for sure. Subatomic particles, right? And what's below subatomic particles? Well, strings, maybe, uh, vibrating strings of energy. 
So the question is this, Joe says, the area of the shape is a centimeter squared. Show that a is equal to two x to the power two. Oh, okay, let's do this. Here, watch. So basically, we want to find the area of this, right? And the area here, I'm going to erase all this now. So we're given the shape, right? We're given the shape. Let me erase these. We're given the shape and we want to find the area of the shape or confirm that the area of the shape is 2x squared, 2x squared plus 24x plus 46 plus 46. So the question is, is the area of the shape this, right? So what we need to do, we need to break this thing up, right? We don't even need this length and this length because this is a sort of a uh, made up of, there we go, focus, two different shapes together. What we can do is cut this thing into A and B. So the area of this guy, this shape here, right, is going to be length times width, which is going to be four times X plus one, right? It's because the area of, I don't know, let's say A, area of A is length times width, which is going to be four, here, let's put this four, x, four times x plus one, which is going to be, boop, boop, boop. here, I'll erase this, so we write it down as A so we don't get confused. So this is shape A, is going to be four x plus uh, four, right? The area of B is going to be this times this. So area of B is going to be length times width again, which is x plus 11 times 2x plus 6. And then we've got to foil this guy out, right? So this times this, this times this, this times this, this times this. So this becomes 2x squared plus 6x plus 22x plus 66. So this is... 2x squared plus uh, 20, 28x plus 66. And if we want the area of this plus this, you just add them up. But we don't get that. That's wrong. Unless... Did I do this wrong? I don't think so. Was that supposed to be x plus 11? Isn't it x plus 11? Yeah, that's what I wrote down. Is this supposed to be x minus 11? Oh, yeah, 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 my bad. Oh, bad, bad. This is, this is when you get sick, you do silly stuff. This length here is this total length minus four so it's really x plus seven my bad seven here oops right right i don't need too much garlic <laughs> so let's erase this <laughs> right so this length here is x plus seven so this becomes 2x squared plus 6x plus 14x plus 42. So this is 2x squared plus 20x plus 42. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Buddy. And then if you want the total area of the whole shape, right? Total. Let's call this area total. Area total is area A plus area B, which is going to be area A is 4x plus 4. Area B is going to be 2x squared plus 20x plus 42. All right, Chicho is a vampire confirmed. Can I help them? 
<laughs> so this becomes, I have no idea what that means, but that's cool. Uh, plus 24x plus 46. You just add this and this, and then add this and this combined like term. So we just confirm this. Doink, doink. Right. Handle it. Ilium. What's ilium? Ilium. Ilium? I don't know what ilium is. <laughs> They're only noodles, Chicho. Oh my god, that's hilarious. What was Ronnie saying? This was a question that most uh, parents couldn't do. Well, I got it wrong too, I guess. Uh, but I'm pretty sick right now. <sighs> Ronnie, imagine a real number line goes infinite goes infinity in each direction while there are infinitely many irrational numbers in between say zero and one yeah infinity can be observed in many different spectrums and i think george Cantor tried to explain different sizes of infinities this way yeah and then he went crazy ronnie if i remember Cantor went insane didn't he he either killed himself or was uh, put into an asylum right Oh my god, I'm currently looking out my window looking for Chicho and Bushes. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, funny. Joe. Yep, that's the question that no parent could answer. No parent could answer. Damn. Randall. Alien is the gene genus of garlic. Alien sativa in Latin. Oh, is it? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Vampires can't handle garlic, so I can't be a vampire unless it's I'm part vampire and it's mushing my brain. But garlic, garlic, gar I feel sorry for vampires when they're sick, they can't eat garlic. And right now, if a vampire drank my blood, they'd die because I've got garlic in my blood. He did his son. Uh, he killed himself, yeah? And then Ronnie, his son died while he was seeking answers too. He went mad. Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Infinity has driven some of the most genius geniuses in our societies in history mad, right? And then you would have to ask yourself, were they really geniuses if they allowed infinity to drive them mad? Right? Or were they mad to begin with? Badger. So, it possible to make a time machine using mathematics questions to come up with answers? Uh, calculator. Calculator is a machine that gives you the answers, does the algebra for you. Joe Chicho. I solved it by multiplying the two sides together to get the area of the bigger rectangle then worked out the area of the smaller one. Yeah, I subtracted it, yeah. So the way, the way Joel did it, here, we'll do the shape here. So he said, this is our shape, right? Just imagine, this is the same as that. What he did was found the big area and then subtract it out this area took this out what and what he ended up getting was the remainder so the big area would be this times this what i had before but i did it wrong and then the small area would be this which would be this minus this so it would be x plus five times four so you subtract multiply that out and then do that Ronnie, we most likely can't go back in time. Uh, going into the future is possible with speed of sound, uh, with speed of light. Yeah, light. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think regarding going back in time, I think we can be observers of the past, but we can't go into the past. Okay, that's something that uh, the concept that comes up uh, through meditation. Uh, shamanism and theogens uh, and mathematics and physics as well right 
So we can observe possibly the past, but we can't influence the past. But we can freeze time and travel and not travel, but freeze time around us and start time back up again in the future and that way time affects us right so the simplest way to think about this is uh, cryogenesis right if you freeze yourself right don't do it i don't think we have the means to do it right now right freeze yourself so time is not affecting you basically putting something in the freezer right so meat for example will go bad in a matter of what a week two weeks let's say but you can put it in the freezer and it'll stay you can still eat it for another year or two years maybe right so you're freezing time you're freezing decomposition you're you're slowing down the rate of change which kicks into calculus right okay <clears throat> joe chicho so i'm not a genius the west is just stupid illiterate in the language of mathematics that's what i like to call it uh, majority of the western world is illiterate in the language of mathematics that's why uh, that's why centralized power can do what it does and that's why people allow centralized power to do what it does is because they're illiterate in the language of mathematics and they don't understand the concept of uh, mainly exponential growth and uh, cost and consequence and uh, problem reaction solution you can look that up okay but joe i guess being a genius is all relative right the most genius person right now the smartest guy in, the smartest person in university right now uh, no, not the smartest let's say you take the 100th smartest person in the world right now and you cryogenic freeze them and unfreeze them in the time of star trek and put them in on the enterprise and get them to work in the engineering department right you'll look like an idiot right so it's a relative thing uh, uh, intelligence could be a could be just uh measured as a relative thing in my opinion badger is science math or is math science math is the language of science okay it's a language of everything really language of music language of politics economics but mathematics is the language that we've come up with to be able to quantify the world and look at it through the lens of the scientific method that's what that's the relationship between math and science badger but meat gets freeze burn so we would decompose over time yeah yeah for sure so it just slows down freezer just slows down decomposition slows down the rate of change of decomposition it doesn't completely freeze it right that's why i say don't do cryogenesis cryo sleep yeah because first of all we don't know if they thaw you out you're going to be just a sack of meat or or there's going to be a pulse you're going to or brain activity right stark chicho any advice on how to memorize a lot of text quickly memorize how to memorize a lot of text quickly i've never been good at that uh, i'm not good at memorizing uh, i even took a speed reading course uh, at university to be able to up my reading uh, uh, reading speed it helped a little bit it helped a little bit you can use your fingers to scan uh, if you're reading and stuff like this but uh, I wasn't really into speed reading tell you the truth uh, when I'm reading I like to uh, sort of appreciate it right and I've never been into memorization never been into memorizing uh, never I even I'll give you I'll give you a story I was uh, in university and I was taking a, a petrogeology course um, basically it was a course where we had to memorize the formulas and names of everything the minerals and stuff like this and this was during a lab and 
the lab instructor really liked me and I liked her I liked most of my not most I, I liked a lot a lot of my teachers the teachers that really liked me they really liked me they knew what it, what I was about uh, so I went up to her and I said listen uh, I'm not into memorizing she goes well you have to memorize these formulas and stuff I said I'm not gonna memorize it I'll answer everything else in 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 this course but I refuse to memorize formulas if I need to use something I'm gonna use it enough to be able to know what the formula is but just randomly memorizing the formulas the chemical formulas of all these minerals is idiotic to me and she says that's the course right that's part of the course I said that's fine uh, I'll just make sure I do really well on the other part so I pass the course she goes okay it's up to you so in the final the final was like seven pages eight pages and three pages was just formulas I, I'm guesstimating here what it was right but three pages about a third of the course was just memorizing formulas chemical formulas of the, all these things or knowing you know they would give you the name of the mineral and you had to write down the chemical formula or they would give you the chemical formula and you had to write down the name of the mineral a third of the exam I I wrote down I just went across the page I said I refuse to memorize I refuse to memorize I refuse to memorize and I answered everything else and I passed the course and I was fine and the teacher still loved me because <laughs> I passed the course I guess too many cooks cooks first time chat that's hardly a science class that's hardly a science class memorization is not a science class right elder god that's a star trek episode crypto sleep is, is, is a cryo sleep is that a star trek episode cryo sleep elder god nice which one which star trek or original star trek or um next generation or deep space nine which one i can't remember it joe chicho did you come up with with it or did we discover it uh which one i don't know Oh, language of mathematics I think language of mathematics is just our way of being to quantify what we've seen in the world it's just a language we've come up with to be able to quantify the world it's, it's built on axioms right just slowly started doing something and we just build on top of it there are problems with it indeed uh, what's that a theorem called that uh, incompleteness theorem I think it's called that says that uh looking at a system from within the system will always be incomplete because there's problems with it one of the problems for example in mathematics we're going to divide by zero the universe explodes so what do we do right elder god quote they say most of your brain shuts down in cryo sleep all but the primitive side the animal side no wonder i'm still awake oh really yeah elder god has good memory we we know this his memory is really good <laughs> Joe Chicho there's a classical uh, mechanics lecture on YouTube by Harvard professor where he tells his students that they'll have to know around 100 formulas for the class he said they have two options either memorize them all or memorize four of them and learn how to drive the others cool I would probably if that's the uh, classical mechanics course maybe if you would if you, see here's the thing with courses that require memorization right if they're good courses if they're good courses they're not just handing you stuff and saying memorize this they're giving you questions where you have to work with what it is that you need to memorize and if you do all those questions it just becomes part of your knowledge base right so you don't have to memorize it it's just part of your knowledge base right it's like learning a language right so that's the way a course should be outlined so if this classical mechanics uh, course requires you to memorize a hundred formulas I'm guessing at least 50 of those formulas if you take this course and you do all the problems are formulas that you're going to be using during your problem solving right on a regular basis right and another 25 percent are things that 
appear fairly commonly and then 25 percent is probably something that you know you had one problem that had it right so uh, if you just do the problems in a course like that you should easily pass if you want to ace a course like that difficult you have to memorize all 100 formulas like for example the example i gave you with me in university i had no desire to ace that course right I've never had a desire to ace any course that requires just full-blown memorization okay but if I did I would have spent the time to learn all those maybe I, I would like it right maybe it's something that I want to do right I want to learn all the chemical formulas for these things right maybe that I get a kick out of that right it's like collecting comic books I get a kick out of collecting comic books maybe someone gets a kick out of memorizing formulas right chemical formulas so they would do well on that course right every course is not for everyone but if you're you put a certain amount of effort to every course that you need to take the odds are you should be able to pass them right you should be able to pass them to move on to the courses that you really want to be in okay badgers man why can't we find the gene that causes us to age or is uh they're steady on this why we age age is basically uh, time acting on matter right there is one absolute in life but multiple absolutes maybe but there's one absolute in life in this universe matter-based existence time affects it and as time progresses we change right so there's nothing in this universe that does not change every molecule in your body changes over time okay gets replaced gets ages right rocks break down planets disappear suns go through changes are born and die right it's it's an innate property of matter so it is what it is it is what it is as far as aging goes i don't think they, they could you could probably slow down you know eat healthy exercise you could slow down aging don't smoke cigarettes because that messes up your skin right uh, so we do have a means of slowing down the aging process by living a healthy life right uh, being able to deal with stress properly but uh, we can't stop time cryo cryo sleep can stop time freezers stop time uh, right but or let me let me rephrase slow down time a lot but they don't stop time right TNG the next generation is the best Star Trek series is really good really good it's because I grew up with that one yeah the original Star Trek was really good too um, I like these space nine as well once you get into it good old theorem good old Escher Bach what a book Hofstetter too many cooks elder god next generation neutral zone final episode season one really next generation neutral zone I can't remember which one that is and look at chicho the code is is from pitch black oh is it from vince diesel nah, vin diesel the code uh, let's read the code again they say most of your brain shuts down in cryo sleep all but the primitive side the animal side no wonder i'm still uh, awake haha <laughs> awesome that's a great movie by the way that's a great movie by the way maybe i'll I'll watch it again today Joe uh, Chicho uh, uh, he said that they only have to memorize four and then you can drive the rest from the four by understanding the concepts yeah but the problem is when you're writing a final exam you don't have time to drive all the formulas right that's why I said I would probably memorize around 20 of them right and from that 20 you would be skipping certain steps right so for example and i did this by the way for a geophysics course that i took so 
let's assume. So think about it as modules, right? Let's assume you're getting a question that requires this formula here, right? You need to know this formula here, right? But you haven't memorized this formula. Your base formulas would be the ones that you would know. One, two, three, four. So you can memorize those formulas or know those formulas, right? And with these formulas, you can do combinations, mix and match, do whatever you need to do to drive all the other formulas, right? However, however, it might take you a long time to get to this one from just the four. But what you can do, you can do cheats, right? You can memorize an additional 16 formulas or 10 formulas or whatever it is to skip certain steps, right? So for example, let's say to get to here, you would have to hit this one and you hit this one. But you can't go from these two, uh, these directly to this. But if you remember to this, remember this one, you've skipped all these steps here, right? And if you need that one as well, then you've skipped all those steps here. And if you need to get this from this guy and this guy, then you can go there, right? Or you need this guy, this guy, and these two, then you could go there from there. Or you need this guy and this guy and one of the other ones you haven't memorized, then you can take these four formulas, derive the one that you need as well to get to that one, and then use this, this, and this to get to that one, right? So what you need to do if you're taking this course that requires 100 formulas, is learn the original four and learn key formulas in the process of getting to some of the more complicated formulas. Okay. Elegon, I'm sure that cryogenics is the future to long distance travel, not warp speed or warping space. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But I we're so far away from that. We're so far away from that. Uh, so far away from it. Joe Chicho, I guess you wouldn't enjoy the world memory champion. No, at all. Like, for example, I don't really enjoy uh, a lot of people do uh, those human calculators. Oh, give them two numbers, they'll multiply it or give two numbers and they'll divide it up to, you know, 50 decimal places. Uh, to me, it's, that's not mathematics. Like lot, people ask me that. Oh, you teach math. What's this times this? I go, what do I look like a calculator? <laughs> I just know how to use the language of mathematics. I don't, I don't, I don't sit there and do exercises of how to multiply things. If I want to multiply things, just write them out and multiply it. Why am I spending brain power to do it all in my head? It's it's good exercise. Why not? But I do other things to exercise my brain, right? Give me a second. This stream turned philosophical real quick. You should change the stream title to philosophy Q and A. But mathematics to me is philosophy in large part. Really, it's brilliant. It's everything. Give me a second. And I love philosophy. I love philosophy. We should do another philosophy and pancakes. We've done a live stream. We did philosophy and pancakes. It's fantastic. We did a few live. I think we did three live streams where we did philosophy and pancakes. Joe Chicho. Joe Rogan spoke to a scientist who considers aging to be a disease and is involved in anti-aging research. Sure, there's a lot of scientists that are involved in anti-aging research, but I don't think aging is a disease. I think aging is a part of life. I think death is a part of life. There wouldn't be life if there wasn't death, right? Like, it's like, what's good if there isn't bad? What's bad if there isn't good? It, 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 I think, I think there is such things as mad scientists, and I think our world is full of mad scientists right now. Uh, we need to pay less, uh, less heed to the mad scientists, okay. and more, uh, more focus on love. Okay, in my opinion first time chat hello there hello a win three welcome to our live stream salute salute joe chicho there's a species of jellyfish that can 
reverse the aging of its cells and is effectively immortal until it gets eaten yeah so it's not immortal yeah and i think it's uh you know turtles live hundreds of years and that jellyfish i think the oldest one they found is i don't think it's immortal i think the oldest one they found is over a thousand years or something like this or they can not over i don't think they found it over a thousand years they just haven't observed the aging of it or something like this and they try to incorporate that with you know they're mad scientists <laughs> What is cryogenics? Cryogenics, I think, is the science of uh, freezing, isn't it? Freezing things, stopping time, I guess. I'm not sure what the official definition of it is. Too many cooks. To be fair, mathematicians do a piss poor job of communicating that math. Yeah, does not equal arithmetics. Yeah, I agree. I agree. They do a horrendous job at it, right? Um, yeah math is math is a perspective on life that allows you to quantify your surroundings arithmetics is just the syntax of the language of mathematics how we use the language give me a second haha <laughs> yeah definitely i would enjoy watching a stream like that yeah 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 we've, we've done it in the past i gotta get back into it uh, Aldegar, cryogenic sleep is suspended animation, i.e. you are suspended alive. Jellyfish are immor immortal. They cons con consistently rejuvenate their cells. Ch -ch -ch. See, here's the thing. If jellyfish are immortal, and they've been around for millions of years, and they have tens of millions of years, hundreds of millions of years, if I remember my paleontology courses correctly, right then the world should be full of jellyfish but it's not so there's something else going on there's something are all these immortal jellyfishes are they uh do they reproduce really slowly or are they reproducing really fast and just being eaten because they're just a food source for bigger animals right so there's something else going on badgers man that looks like a map of me when I'm lost looking for the path pathway. <laughs> I haven't uh, I haven't to that uh, population control. I have in to that population control. Yeah, maybe they're trying to trying to convince people jellyfish make a great snack. I, have you eaten jellyfish? I've Cheryl. I ate a jellyfish salad. I didn't like it. Is there very chewy? Korean jellyfish salad delicacy uh, I that's one dish I wasn't really enjoying too much the sauce on it was really good but the jellyfish just didn't do it to me have you eaten jellyfish did you like it if I was a whale I'm pretty sure I would love jellyfish maybe whales eat jellyfish I don't know Joe Buckeye living in the dark depths of the ocean maybe maybe Elder God, I did a science project on them in school. Oh, did you? Was the sauce red? No, no, it wasn't red. It was, uh, yeah, it wasn't red. It was like a salad, like jellyfish tentacles and a salad with other things. And uh, it wasn't red. Like a pepper a paste sauce? No, no. It was clear. Cheryl, oh no, yuck. Not people snacks. Turtle snacks, huh? <laughs> Yeah, turtles like jellyfish. <laughs> turtles like jellyfish. A badger. Why do you ask for people to pee on you if you get stung? Uh, what is it in jellyfish uh, that make that? Yeah, I've heard that before too. Uh, I don't know. And Cheryl might know this. Uh, it neutralizes the the acid on them or something. Whatever it is, the sting on them. It, uh, Ronnie it might have been yellowish it might have been yellowish I can't remember it was a salad it was a long time ago and I didn't like the dish so I haven't tried it again oh my god Chicho maybe it's a high Highlander uh, situation and they are uh, lobbing each other's heads off in the deep oceans <laughs> yeah maybe <laughs> there can only be one <laughs> lightning comes down yeah, sure I can't eat octopus anymore since learning about how uh, sentient, yeah, I've known other people have said that too. But then, so are cows. 
right? Cows are pretty cool, right? Some people say cows are pretty intelligent. Uh, the far side guy says uh, the cows are pretty intelligent, but I still love steak. <laughs> Shish kebabs all the way. <laughs> right? I mean, bacon, yum. Supposed to be pigs are smarter than dogs, right? They make awesome pets from what I've heard, right? And they, you can feed them anything. But yeah, I don't eat too much octopus. Squid, though, I like squid. Squid, I don't know if, uh, at first, squid is is not as smart as uh, uh, octopus. I think the pea thing is a myth. Is 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 the pea thing a myth? God damn! Thanks for letting us know. I won't get anyone to pee on me if I get stung by a jellyfish. Badger. They need an octopus Marvel character. Well, they got the starfish one. Uh, the star, yeah, they got the starfish one. That, no, no, that's DC. Uh, I look up, pigs are intelligent as hell, but bacon is just too good. <laughs> We're eating intelligent food. <laughs> if you're eating bacon, you're eating intelligent food. <laughs> Dr. Octopus, Dr. Octopus. Yeah, 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 that's Marvel. But he's not really an octopus. Cheryl, I, uh, I live, I live steak. I love steak when I can get it from folks who treat their cows well. Yeah, agreed, agreed. It's the commercialized thing. Yeah, 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 hundred percent, hundred percent. Local farms, uh, you know, grass fed, all that jazz, right? Badger pigs can't do too, can't be too smart if they eat their own poop. Well. I don't know maybe their poop has a lot of nutrients i don't know what pig poop is like <laughs> i personally i don't think human people poop is good for us but maybe they have some kind of digestive system where it works for them right and they're 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 beasts they can they can eat anything it's like where chicho highlander there can only be one they can only be one I know humans who do that. Oh, Elder God, don't hang around those humans. <laughs> no matter what, don't kiss them. Oh, Juman Hat, thanks. You sent me the uh, your address, but I haven't replied it. I haven't looked at it. Uh, as soon as I feel better, I can package up the stuff. I'll I'll do it next week or so. Okay. Ten minute warning. Wow, I lasted two hours on this. That's good. Now I need rest. Yeah, we did a little bit of mathematics and talked uh, some philosophy, which was super fun super fun awesome i'm glad we didn't do too hardcore mathematics my brain is not really functioning too well uh, so uh, it's, it's fun just chit chatting random discussions and uh going off super fun uh cheryl have you heard about the huge octopus farm uh plan in spain no no they're gonna grow gigantic octopus. oh no no they're it's a huge farm they're gonna grow octopus octopi for harvesting for eating like a salmon farm? Oh, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. Uh, Badger Man, we were planning on coming tomorrow, but um, uh, I need to recoup. Um, so next stream we're doing Sunday. Again. Next stream we're doing Sunday. And we're going to read... Basically, we're doing ASMR history. We're going to read... Uh, we've read the first 12 cards of the set. And it includes a lot of history regarding the assassination of JFK. These are cars that came out in 1990, I believe, by Eclipse Comics. Okay. And it goes through the history of what took place and who was involved, the characters and stuff like that. And incredibly important right now because it was basically just revealed in the last few weeks that the CIA assassinated JFK. So this is came out in 1990 for decades they were calling this a conspiracy theory that the cia assassinated jfk and now in 2022 2023 when it came out in 2022 we know that the cia assassinated jfk and this goes through it we read the first 12 cars and it talks a lot about that there's a lot of cia connections and whatnot so we've read the first 12 okay and we're gonna start with card 13 and read the next 12 in the set on sunday I believe we're doing it from 1 to 3 uh, PDT my time 
coup d'etat. Yeah, I got my fingers crossed. I'm gonna feel better by Sunday. Okay, I'm already feeling when I'm teaching. Like right now, I feel a lot better because I'm, I'm excited. I'm teaching that. This is great, right? But as soon as we stop streaming, I'm gonna go oh, exhausted. I'm gonna have to lay down. So, uh, I got my fingers crossed by Sunday. I'm gonna feel better. Okay, so that's when we're doing the next stream. Okay, too many cooks. A giant octopus sounds too good. Too good. Cho Chicho. Did you watch any more of the unnatural selection document? No, I haven't. I haven't, Joe. I've been I've been watching Mob Psycho 100 and I'm loving it. And I'm watching Food Wars right now and I'm loving it. I'm watching Doom Patrol, fantastic series. Um and those are really the three things that I'm watching right now. Uh, Mob Psycho 100 is fantastic. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Anime, anime, anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Badger, fantastic. Super interesting. If you go to my playlist, if you do coup d'etat, uh, Chicho, the playlist should show up um, for the first 12 card readings. They're like this. Take a, take a look. <coughs> So in the front, it's got a picture. So in the front, it's got a picture. Wanted for treason, right? Sniper rifle on him, JFK. And in the back, it's got some, the assassination, what took place, right? Here's Jackie Onassis, right? Beautiful art, like just phenomenal artwork, right? ambushed and then on the back the secret service cia secret service what's going on right so we've read the first 12 of these okay we're gonna read the 12 more on sunday <clears throat> what the, from one till three yeah one till three my time thanks elder god so what what it was it the cia or, no it wasn't russia it, it was cia like it's fact now right cia and associating with the mob and the deep state if you want to call it right lark park a lot of people say the mafia put the hit on jfk due to him not keeping his end of the bargain no i disagree mafia was used as a tool by the cia and other players uh, no the mafia couldn't take out uh jfk uh, for jfk to be taken out cia had to be involved we know that now badger those are times when you wish you were a fly on the wall to hear all that badger yeah a lot, a lot of things going on right now uh badger uh that we are basically the flies on the wall that's what wikileaks julian assange have been uh revealing working towards right uh, that's what the Twitter files are all about uh, and we're seeing it happen in real time amazing times amazing times gang let's call the stream thank you very much for being here I hope you enjoyed the stream a lot of fun thanks for keeping me company as a as a, a sick little chicho right now and um, we'll come back on Sunday okay to do the JFK readings as for our closing, if you want to know what this work is about on Patreon, on Substack, and Subscribe Star, you can follow the work there. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, Substack, on on Twitch, where we're live streaming, gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we're doing, as well as the mods, mods, mods. Thank you very much for being here and on Gilded, taking care of business and having our backs. Salute, salute, salute. I am also on Twitter, back on Twitter again. Now that censorship, uh, more free speech has come back. We'll see where that goes. I am also on VK, Parler, Gabs, Mine, uh, BitCloud, okay, and Getter. So you can follow the work there. Uh, we do have a SoundCloud page uh, where we upload audio. We don't have any uh, visuals we did today. Um, just the audio on SoundCloud as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including Spotify, iTunes and Google Play and we will be uploading this full live stream to SensorTube, to Pichu, to Rumble and to Odyssey okay 
gang i hope you have a fantastic next couple of days i'll announce the cancellation of the stream tomorrow later on today after i get a little bit of rest and um, and uh, i'll see you guys sunday fingers crossed bye everyone